Hi everyone and welcome to the episode 21 of the Mobile Networks Overview course. In the previous episode, uh, I talked and discussed about uh, CS, PS and EPC core network structure and their network elements and some basic scenarios. In this episode, uh, I want to uh, discuss about a real scenario using Wireshark for uh, call flow analysis. Uh, for this session, uh, I chose uh, the attach uh, in the 4G LTE network that we discussed before in previous episodes. Uh, we will go a step by step uh, according to this call flow. Okay, at the first uh, step, we see that we have attach request uh, originated from user equipment to the uh, new MME. I I mean uh, I I told you that new MME is for the scenario that uh, there were also an old MME. So we see that here we can see initial mess UE message attach request. Uh, as I talked to before, as I uh, told you before, from UE, uh, sorry, let me make it uh, clear, from UE to core network, uh, no matter where, which uh, generation, uh, there's always a uh, interface between UE and core. Uh, for example, in CS, uh, we had uh, DTAP between MS and MSC. We had DTAP for uh, transferring messages like IMZ, IMI, and some other things. Uh, but in EPC, between user equipment and MME, we have NAS over S1 AP. So uh, above S1 AP, or uh, it's a sub layer on, in S1 AP, there is NAS, non access stratum. That message will go directly from UE to the core. So let me show you. Here we see attach request, PDN connectivity request on NAS. Uh, NAS is a, uh, is a sub layer in S1 AP on the application protocol. We see here, we see uh, physical and data link. We see internet protocol, which is the network protocol in uh, TCP IP. And also a stream control transmission protocol. A stream control transmission protocol is SCTP. SCTP is a very important protocol, very famous protocol, and uh, one of the most reliable uh, um, transport protocols. Uh, maybe in the future, I uh, record and publish a, a, a specifically just um, for transport layer some episode. You can see that uh, we have a source and destination and uh, SCTP is a very good protocol and reliable because it has it, it supports uh, multi-homing. Let me uh, tell you what is multi-homing uh, before this whiteboard comes up. I, I can tell you multi-homing is the is refers to the scenario that in one node in, you, you, you may have more than one IP address. You will assign more than one IP address to one node and, for, and to the other node they can have multiple IP and this is uh, multi-homing. Let me show you on, the, on this whiteboard uh, and uh, sorry this, uh, this whiteboard is a little slow. Uh, so what is, uh, is multi-homing? As you remember, in TCP, uh, we had just uh, one node, one IP, IP1, to node B, IP2. Uh, but in some uh, reliable protocols like SCTP, uh, one node can have more than one IP address, IP1 to IPN. 
and this is multi-homey this make it reliable more reliable high reliable okay so and uh, also about the other things that I told to you between UE and MME I told that there is NAS over S1 AP so what is S1 AP? S1 AP is like this let me uh, choose another color the protocol stack is this IP SCTP uh, here we have S1 AP and in S1 AP there is a sublayer NAS non access strat okay so let's see in the message so we can see this is a stream control transmission protocol that I will uh, hopefully uh, will uh, record a uh, episode on that for transport layer which is a very important uh, layer and here we have s1 you can see s1 packet data unit here and uh, we can see nas here nas some other parameters for example u trend cgi is related to the um, cell location ecgi it has a formula i will show you uh, it is the establishment cause which here is MO signaling mobile originating signaling here you see MO signaling it means that this mobile originating uh, starts a signaling and uh, here we can see also TAI which is the tracking area identity tracking area identity you can see here and also uh, we see that uh, we have NAS PDU in this uh, in this field we have non-access stratum as as I as I showed to you and here we see the um, scenario EPS attach type is EPS MZ attach and here we see lots of uh, other parameters that are very important. Uh, for example, EPS mobile identity, we see here the IMSI of the subscriber, uh, we can see and also uh, uh, which, um, for example, uh, encryption algorithms, it supports and so on, okay? Uh, you can uh, go through these messages uh, as well. So, uh, we can see attach request here and after that uh, based on this uh, call flow we can see that maybe the new MME asks old MME to send some necessary information but here we can see that in this real scenario we don't have this step so after that uh, MME couldn't retrieve some information from old MME it will ask the UE directly to send some information. Let me check. But also, this uh, step is not also in, not here. And here, the security function or authentication procedure will start from here. And how? We can see an authentication request is sent from MME to the UE. Uh, the authentication and security is a very com is complex and detailed procedure but here we will show you uh, just the procedure uh, here our purpose is not that maybe in the future but here we want uh, we want to show you uh, how is the uh, general procedure and uh, you can see it's a uh, diameter protocol it asks uh, it it sends uh, uh, authentication challenge for the subscriber and if if it could answer this challenge uh, correctly it means that it's a legal subscriber and uh, MME will decide that uh, this subscriber can uh, is legal and can be registered in this uh, uh, network or not the challenge and the parameters are sent from HSS 
from AUC Authentication Center in HSS to the MME and then MME will send them to the UE and UE will uh, should solve this problem, should solve this challenge and uh, send this back to the MME and MME will decide about this okay uh, so here it will um, it will find authentication response and then after that security mode command will send here we can see uh, it it doesn't uh, it cannot be seen here because it's uh, very brief briefly shown here uh, this picture has compacted these two procedures together and uh, <laughs> briefly uh, wrote security function but uh, we know that uh, after that if the uh, authentication procedure was successful a security mode command uh, will send from MME to UE to instruct the to instruct the user equipment which uh, encryption algorithm should be used and uh, it will send back a security mode complete after that it's time to send an update location request from MME to HSS as you can see here update location request from MME to HSS with diameter on S6A S6A you can see here and uh, these are uh, through AVP attribute value pairs of diameter uh, and uh, here you can see that HSS uh, if also there was a old MME old MME will cancel location to the HSS uh, that we, we don't have it here and then H HSS uh, will send back update location acknowledgement with uh, containing some necessary information to be uh, loaded here then in this in this part in this uh, time it's time that uh, MME send a create session request to the SGW via GTP GPRS tunneling protocol to to ask him please create a session for this subscriber so here via S S11 interface it will ask uh, SGW to create a session as you can see here create session request is from MME to SGW or as gateway and uh, subsequently uh, SGW also ask PGW create a session request but we cannot see the and the other message here because it's uh, from MME to SGW and uh, PGW will send uh, the tunnel information and IP information back to SGW and SGW will send it to the MME so in this step uh, MME knows about the IP uh, tunnel information and many other things about this uh, uh, via GTP protocol so uh, it's time to finalizing the session so here we can see create session response in this this um, this step and then the MME will instruct uh, will send attach accept as you see here the MME will send attach accept to the inode B uh, containing the new team Z containing the new team Z and the new TAI uh, and we can see that RRC connection will be reconfigured and it is attached complex RRC, con RRC connection the inode B uh, will also instruct the UE about the uh, tunnel information and other uh, communication information then this RRC will be reconfigured and then initial context response and this in this uh, step attach will complete and uh, we may have a modify bearer request response here due to some uh, 
uh, due to changing some uh, parameters it's uh, it may happen and here we have a direct tunnel between UE to PGW and uh, this is via GTP GPR stone. it means that here till here we have CP control plane and here we have UP user plane and uh, the service is ready for the subscriber and data is ready he can use uh, uh, the data service or some other services that he likes okay and we can see that here uh, the scenario is completed and uh, we can see the other uh, scenarios initial context response we can see initial uh, here we have attach accept then uh, UE capability indication and then uh, initial context setup response uh, which you can see here initial context setup response and uh, also we had modify bearer request and response and uh, some message uh, about uh, the uh, the information the final information of the tunnel and ip and port uh, totally the information of the tunnel and uh, then you can see here after a while uh, if the subscriber was inactive or doesn't have any activity in a timer and the timer expires we can see that rrc connection uh, here will be released and uh, we have a radio network uh, we have a UE context release request with the cause of radio network cause user inactivity. Okay, uh, so it was a um, it was a brief uh, introduction to call follow analysis uh, call flow analysis on uh, attached scenario in the EPC in 4G LTE generation, and it was just a start. Uh, if you like to have the uh, Wireshark file, you can send me email and, or uh, comment. I will uh, send you this. And uh, if you had any question, I will uh, answer. Uh, hopefully, in the next episode, we will also have some other uh, live, uh, some other real scenarios on Wireshark to uh, to help you to improve your. Uh, signal analysis and call follow analysis uh, uh, skills okay so thanks for you for watching this episode and thanks for your time and hope it was be uh, hope it was it would, it would be useful and informative for you thanks bye see you again